right in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create something like this this is uh, I consider this to be like a, some type of desk art some type of art piece maybe something that would be sitting on a shelf or on a table basically decorative art I guess you could say but anyway let's go ahead and build this I'll show you how to go about it come up here to file and choose new general all right I will be using blender 2.82 all right first thing you want to do is if you've uh, deleted the default cube or your startup file doesn't have it we need the default cube so if you already have the default cube you're good to go at this point I need to go ahead and re-add it because my default program or startup file does not have it. So with the default cube there, I'm going to scale it on the z-axis. S for scale, Z for the z-axis, and then point 0.1. Now I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so I can see it better. I'm going to press tab to go into edit mode. Go ahead and put this on face select. Select the top face and then come up here to edge and choose subdivide. And then set this to uh, yeah five will work set that to five now what you want to do is press a once or twice until everything is selected press one to go in the front side view press five to go into orthographic view and then just kind of drag this down and then press shift d shift d to duplicate and then Z for the Z axis and then drag it up to about here and then press R for rotate X for the X axis and then 180 basically just flipping it flipping it around alright now you want to connect these three or these two uh, cubes so you want to select this face and then select its opposite face on this one which is essentially right here see what I mean let me zoom out just a little bit see what I mean now you want to bring up like a secondary menu in blender 2.8 and older I believe uh, you use you press the space bar to bring up this uh, menu but in blender 2.82 you press F3 to bring up this menu and once you see this menu, type in BRI, basically bridge edge loops is what you want. Choose that, and it basically connects those. Now do the same right here and right here. Bring up the menu, F3, choose bridge edge loops. Do the same thing right here, shift, F3 bridge edge loops same thing right here F3 bridge edge loops alright now go ahead and press 1 to go into front side view and then just kind of rotate it just a little bit so you can see all the vertical bars now come over here to edge or loop cut rather click right here and then change it to 25 click right here and change it to 25 not 250 25 and then do that for the next two also and we're adding these so that they can actually bend because you know a face can't bend you have to have vertices and edges in order for it to bend alright with edge loops cut into all of those go ahead and click on your arrow up here and then uh, 2.82 is a little glitchy for some reason and then go ahead and press 1 to go in the front side view and then press Z to bring up this menu and then choose wireframe put it on face select and make sure you don't have anything selected which you don't now we want to select just these top faces so press B for box select 
left click to drag and then just select the top and then just quickly make sure that that's all you have selected now you want to turn on proportional editing and then change this from smooth to linear all right now we want to rotate this top portion and in the process it's going to twist this part down here so we're going to press R for rotate Z for the Z axis and then we want to use the mouse wheel to adjust the size of this circle till it reaches about there and then press 180 on the number pad and then enter basically we just twist it at the top 180 degrees or half a turn now if we press tab to exit edit mode and then if we come into a solid view we can see what we are creating all right now let's go ahead and add some materials so all we got to do is come over here to the materials tab click new and we'll start off with the base material I'm just gonna make this a glossy black so going to bring this down to a very dark black color and then set this to about 0.1 it doesn't have to be exact all right now let's go ahead and create the material for the metal pieces the bent metal pieces so click the plus sign click new and we'll keep the colors default but we'll set this to metallic and on the roughness we'll set it to 0.1 all right, now let's go ahead and assign the metal material. So press one to go into front side view, press tab to go into edit mode. Now press A once or twice until nothing is selected. And then press Z to bring up this menu. Choose wireframe. Now press box select. And then basically just select all of the metal bar portion and just make sure you don't have any of the rest of it selected and then with that selected come over here and then choose assign now if we press tab to exit edit mode and if we go into render view we can see the uh, colors but it looks kind of blocky so what we can do we can come over here to object and then come down here to shade smooth but now everything looks kind of rounded so come over here to the modifiers tab add modifier and then choose edge split and now it looks a lot better now if we want to to make this look better we can press tab to go into edit mode press one to go into front side view press Z to go into wireframe and with right now we still just have this uh, center portion selected which is good because we want to add some more subdivisions to this so come up here to edge choose subdivide and then come down here and change this to 2 alright now if we exit edit mode and go back into rendered view or EV is essentially what this one is we can see it looks a whole lot better now if we go ahead and add a floor add mesh plane and then scale it up and then just grab on the Z axis and bring it down to right to right at the bottom and go ahead and turn on my light and let's go ahead and put this in render view let me go ahead and uh, turn off my where yet turn off my environment light and look at it through the camera because it looks it renders quicker going through the camera put this on region render well let me go ahead and turn this to lock camera to view and as you can see it kind of looks like a piece of art but anyway that's pretty much it 
I mean, it would look better if I put in a HDRI, which I could go ahead and do just for this example. Turn on that. Let me uh, turn on a, add a HDRI. I just add one that's kind of colorful. Let's turn this up to one. And there you go. That's pretty much what it looks like. But anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. Later, people.